Oftentimes, companies need to be able to configure their solution to accommodate unique reporting requirements. The way that we would handle that within Business One is through the concept of user-defined fields, or UDFs. UDFs are available to be used throughout the solution, typically on master records or on your buy documents or on your sell records. So for example, if I open up my business partner master record and call up one of my vendors, or in this case a customer Earthshaker, these are all user-defined fields that are on the right-hand side of the window. Now, when I open up the window, those fields may not be displayed. If I needed to display them, I could go to View and User-Defined Fields, but once I've turned them on, there is no need to turn them on again. You'll see that a user-defined field can take on different characteristics. For example, it could be a simple drop-down. It could be pictures, it could be text fields, it could be links to websites or links to documents within the solution. As I mentioned earlier, they also can be stored on buy or sell documents. So this is an example of an order and on the sales order there are certain characteristics that this customer needs to be able to track as it relates to this customer order. So for example method of transport would be air, air and sea or common carrier and other text fields are used in this situation. In addition you could store user-defined fields at the row level as well. So you could do it both at the header level as well as at the line item level when working with user-defined fields. Now the beauty of user-defined fields is that they can be added very simply. You do not need to require or rely on technical people or your outside consultants in order to use user-defined fields or to add user-defined fields. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and add one now so you can see how easy it really is. And the way I'm going to do that is underneath Tools, Customization Tools, and choose the item called User-defined fields. As I would mentioned, you could put user-defined fields throughout the product and master data or marketing documents, which are buy or sell documents. You can add them to payments within production, accounting, costing, budgeting, sales opportunities, service, within inventory, on tax transactions, value-added tax, and user tables. So what I'm going to do on the master data, and specifically on the business partner master record like we had seen earlier, I'm going to add a user-defined field, and you may recognize some of these fields, favorite food, favorite restaurant. We saw those a few moments ago. And all we're going to do now is just add an additional field here. And the field I'm going to actually add is one called favorite team. And description, favorite team. And because I'm not sure what the names of the teams are going to be, I'm actually going to use alphanumeric as opposed to numeric, which wouldn't give us much options. And I'm not really sure how long my team names are going to be, so I'm going to go ahead and expand this to 20 characters. It's going to maintain a regular structure, but note I could do addresses, telephone numbers, or text fields as well. Now, when I'm recording my favorite team, I want to make sure that there's no typing errors or that there's consistent typing throughout the reporting so that when I, when I do my reports, uh, for example, the Patriots is not spelled N-E-Pats or just Patriots, I want to make sure it's going to be spelled consistently. So I'm going to add a P and we'll just call this the Patriots, for example. And then I'll do, for example, the J, and we'll just call this the Jets. And just continuing here with my football theme, I'm also going to use the Bills. If I wanted to, I could set a default value for the field. I could also make this field mandatory. But for now, I'm just going to simply add this field. And just telling me that the data stru database structure is going to be modified. Do you want to continue? Yes, yeah, so it's kind of a safety. And now if I go back into my business partner master record, at the bottom of the window as I call up my vendor, you can see that we've already added our favorite team. And in this case it will be the Patriots. And I can go ahead and update this. And I've now saved that change. Now let's say that because this is a pretty important field, I would like for this to show up more in the uh, top portion of this window. I could do so. And the way I would do that is again through tools customization tools, and I'm going to choose the item called settings. And what I'm going to do is, for example, there's my favorite team field, and I could label that. Um, let's label that the number 5, for example, and go ahead and click OK. 
and you'll now see that my favorite team field that I just added is now the fifth field on my display. So you also have the flexibility of moving those fields around within this presentation as well. The other thing you could do is also limit the number of fields. For example, maybe in this case this is my general category, but I could also uh, add certain fields from a demo perspective, and this is just one particular field, or for this customer is looking for these certain fields. So as I go through, I can have different categories, and if I want, I could display all fields within here as well. So you can see how it gets pretty busy there. So we want to make sure we give you the flexibility to be able to which, uh, limit the fields that would show at any given time. So that was a quick overview on user-defined fields, and again, remember that they can be used to configure the solution to accomplish or address specific reporting requirements. I'd also like to recommend that you view the video on UDTs, or user-defined tables, and also there's another session on how do you use user-defined fields in conjunction with drag and relate. Thank you for attending this session.